We from the skies above fly near ham radio antennas. Blending with Tony's high strange life was the captivating connection between our appearances near his ham radio antennas. I hope the hint the greater galactic community gives provides a glimmer of hope for future communication and the establishment of an information network beyond humanity's wildest imaginations, as written in Tony's book, I, Alien, Memoirs of a UFO Spy. The UFO's Tony has filmed fly in close proximity to his ham radio antennas. Time and again we behave with subtly and avoid your air traffic. Tony has been astounded and mystified, raising questions about our intentions and the possibility of communication. Could these frequent encounters with our UFOs near ham radio antennas be more than mere coincidence? Some of you are correct. These instances are more than random chance. They are hints at a potential channel for communication. The distinctive electromagnetic properties of ham radio antennas may serve as a beacon for us as visitors and pave the way for an eventual interstellar information network a network already in existence and yet to be born, not following the rules of linear time. Tony calls it hypernova in the early days of the covert, corrupt, and mismanaged MK Ultra circus that it was. It had a different name. But let us hand over to fellow beautiful cosmic sisters from other worlds to explain more. Tony filmed the UFOs, ran image analysis, the conclusion he drew... We are not of this world. Some of us are from the ocean deep. It takes a while to get used to what we look like, but it is communication, not invasion. I hope I am easy on the eye. Let us now get into this.